Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you, and this time I'm going to show you how to clear the print queue in Windows 11. If you have any print jobs stuck, what you want to do is look for the printer icon down by your time, and you'll see it shows how many print documents may be stuck in the queue. Just double click on that, you should get this window here. It shows you one or more documents that are in the queue, and you'll see the name of the document, some information about the printer. What you would do is click the three dots just up in the top right here and go to cancel all and that'll cancel all the print jobs in the queue. It'll ask you to confirm and it should clear out within a few seconds. Sometimes this may not work and then we got a manual method that we have to do. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Click on your start button and search for services. Open the services app. Click anywhere in here and hit P for printers and look for the print spooler. You should see that it's running currently. Right click on it and go to stop. Wait for it to clear so it doesn't show anything where it used to say running. Now what we want to do is open up File Explorer and go in the C drive. Drill down to Windows and then scroll down and look for System32 open that now go down to the S's and look for spool double click on spool and then you'll see a folder for printers double click on that you may have to hit continue to get permission and then it will show you possibly a list of any print jobs that are stuck in here so you can highlight them all and delete either right click and delete or hit delete on the keyboard and just clear out this folder and make sure it's empty when that's done, go back to your services screen and you'll see that it's still showing that it's not running. So you would right click on it and go to start, wait for it to start running again. And now your print queue is emptied and you can start printing again. Unless you have some other printer problem where it's a physical issue with the device, then that will be a whole other thing to troubleshoot. Otherwise, that's it for this tutorial, and I hope you did find it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, even better, give it a super thanks, and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.